Hello, my name is Kim from the Dimension Channel. Welcome to the Dimension Channel. Welcome back. I really don't know how to film. Um, it, it's relatively noticeable. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, we're gonna ignore how I'm dressed today. Oh, jeez. I'm supposed to be this. We're gonna ignore how um, I'm dressed today. It's I didn't know what to put on, and uh, we ended up with this. Today, sis. But yeah. So hello, hello. Um. Yeah. Um. Disclaimer. Uh. Before we actually get into this video, um, we're going to be talking about the issue. Uh. Mina and Jimin from AOA, former member Mina, with uh now formal member leader Jimin from AOA. Um. This video is going to be talking about heavy topics such as bullying, idealization, uh, self, and other heavy topics, including death. So, if you get triggered by these topics, please, please uh, don't watch this. I don't want you to get triggered by any means. So everything I've said in this video are my own opinions and most of it are allegations. Otherwise, it's things that were stated by Mina herself and the company and have direct translations in the description box like I said. So please don't sue me. Thank you. So um, if you still want to watch videos of me, um, sorry for the weird plugin, but I will put in the card section, I think I'm pointing it the right way now. Um, in the card section here, uh, my playlist for Wednesday, which is more random videos, and then Saturdays, which are making videos like this where I just sit down and talk. Um, but yeah, now that we're done plugging in, wow, okay, so I need to find a better angle, because this is not working. So I'm going to be looking down because I'm going to be putting on makeup or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me today. Usually I tend to be easier. I'm never, I'm never easier at recording videos. What am I talking about? I'm horrible at recording videos. Anyways, um, this, just, we're gonna do try and do this video today without me continuously fixing up my camera. But um, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about the issue that um, why do we keep on calling it issue? Um, We're going to talk about the situation with uh, AOA former member Mina and Jimin. I'm not going to, not BTS Jimin, AOA Jimin, Shin Jimin, okay. um, but yeah, so ignore my names that I don't know how to say I am horrible at names, and yeah, so we're going to try today to work around how horrible I'm doing everything because I don't know what happened, um, I just didn't sleep, which is a normal excuse for me, to be honest. As of recently, um, formal member Mina from Anyway has, uh, spoke out upon the, uh, 10 years of bullying that she has received from leader of AOA, well, formal member and former leader of AOA, Shin Jimin. Now, hear me out. So, before, um, I used to be very into AOA. I don't know what happened. Just after my bias, um, Choa came, like, left the group. I thought she was the leader, okay? I, for a really long time, I thought she was the leader, but then, um, I realized it was Jimin, so, um, I don't know. It's, was she a recent leader? I should research these things and then put it here, because, um, I'm in the dark of a lot of things, apparently. But yeah, so, I'm gonna be using old <laughs> palettes, but, yeah, so, um, Choa left AOA a while back because of the reasoning of mental health issues and a lot of idols have been like pausing comebacks because of mental health just to note 
mental health in South Korea has been getting kind of better. They still need a lot more um, awareness of it. It always has been a taboo thing, especially 10 years ago. Um, it's never been like the greatest uh, place to help with mental health. It's always been taboo or people would get judged, especially in jobs. If you went to a um, mental health institution or anything for help of mental health. Um, if you didn't know, Korea does have a high number of suicide rates, especially during um, entry exams and exams in general. They would have to um, lock up the roofs because people because of their results if they did badly. So it always has been an issue, especially years back when um, former, I don't even like saying former, <laughs> um, member of SHINee, um, Jung Hyun, who passed away sadly because of so it's lately it has been a lot more of an aware from the audience that um k-pop stands especially that has been very prevalent because of how uh the industry runs so there has been changes and help a lot more helpful especially um jyp has been very very um prevalent on talking about these issues, but just because one company does it doesn't mean that everyone does. Especially FNC, the company of AOA, is not very like helpful with it because the thing is, bigger companies are more in the media light, so of course if a bigger company has an idol who has been they will try and help a lot because of how it looks in the eye of the media. But companies like FNC don't really um, talk about it, don't really open up about it because they're like, oh, we're not prevalent in the light, so we shouldn't really worry about it. And the thing is, these are your idols. These are like idols that you've been taking care of for years. Ten years they've been. Um, in the limelight, um, AOA, and it's not like FNC wasn't aware about this. Mina said that she spoke to the company, and the managers were aware, and the AOA members were definitely aware as well. So why wasn't there no action against it? Why nothing was happening until now? because Minna spoke about it to the public eye. She spoke about it. And the thing with um, a lot of these cases of bullying, uh, they are afraid to speak out about it. They are afraid because they're like, oh, what if the person yells at me? And that was what was happening with Minna. She was going through issues of um, death in the family, death of a loved one. And a lot of the time, um, she even said that she felt that she couldn't speak about it or talk to her father or see her father while he was um, in his last days. Um, and it's sad to see that she didn't want to see it, see him because of the fact that she was scared that she would have been yelled at by AOA member Jimin. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not going to like probably say dates well, I don't even know if I said earlier, but I won't be speaking upon dates. This will probably be a very bad video upon, like, speaking about these because I am horrible in collecting my thoughts. Um, so don't think this video will have great um, chronological order of anything. I will speak back and of course a lot of other people talked about this so I don't know why people would watch my video for this but oh go up I forgot to put primer so I'm gonna do that as we speak because um, I want some very nice things to do uh, open Jeez. Okay. don't say that any her 
Why am I being comedic? Snarberg. I'm sorry. I should not be comedic during these very sensitive topics. Don't think I'm trying to make fun of this. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so a lot of the times the fans are aware of this, right? And it has been happening for years. Um, fans are aware. They talk about issues that go on with um, population. A lot of this has been happening. Um, uh, Suli, I pronounce it right wrong, from a um, former member of FX, uh, passed away because of it. And of course, um, member from Shiny, um, John Young passed away as well. And the thing is, a lot of us are aware. And the problem with this is that a lot of fans who speak out about this, there are other fans who have taken them to this point of this. And the fact that this company was aware of this actions and also the fact that uh, Mina was herself there was still no action taking place to help this get better and a lot of the statements that she stated it felt that they were forced to apologize and forced to um, take action because the public eye was aware the fans were aware and this does not look good for the company. They should have took action. And it's not just by the look, it's the health of your idols is way more important than the money in your pocket. Yes, they are your money makers, but they're also human and they should be treated as such. So the debut age that Minna was. She was 18 when she first debuted and since debut, maybe even since trainees, but I'm not sure about that so don't take that, she was being bullied by AOA member Jimin. She has been bullied this whole 10 years of her being in the music industry. That was her dream and it was ruined by a member and nothing was done. When, um, she also stated that the member, uh, father passed away, and she could cancel her, um, she canceled her schedules. But when Mina was going through it, she was afraid to cancel her schedules because she was afraid that she would be yelled at. Um, this is prevalent because it shows the favoritism that this company has uh, towards certain members, which sucks because you should treat all your members greatly. And it it hurts to see how these members are being treated, especially when you should treat all your members equally. These are people you had for so many years. And no industry, no company should treat you like this. Um, other members of other groups who've had mental health issues as of recently, especially um, Jay from Day6 and Mina from Twice, both are from the company JYP. Yes, this is a big company, but they are showing to other companies how you should treat your uh, your idols, how you should treat the people who serve you and make you the money. How do these members, when they feel a certain way, they get support, but yet this person who has been in your company for 10 years has received none of the support? that she deserves. If you go onto her Twitter, not Twitter, um, Instagram, you would see the photo of her 
as of lately, as of recently, um, it has a sensitive um, content, like it has a sensor on it. So please, if you go ahead and go onto her account, you can send her uh, some really nice things in Korean. I will be posting a lot of my information in the description box and also a post on Twitter that can help you send her things in Korean just so that way we can show her support because she needs it. Like I said, please don't hate on these people. Please don't hate on Jimin. I understand that you're very hurt. I am hurt too because uh, how did they let this go for so long? But um, still, don't and hate. It's not good. Um, hating on a person does not help the situation at all. Uh, it was said that um, for Minna in her post that she has been, like I said, going through this for years. She was yelled at in the first words that she was basically uh, said not to cry, it would be a bad look for the uh, group, and that she is, I'm not gonna probably say this right, but uh, Jimin said that she never thought she would say something or be like a bitch or something, or bitching about. One of those words, I'm going to put it here, or a direct translation, because either way, it's still harmful as a way that Jimin victimized herself so many times. She said that she didn't remember her acting that way, but she apologized. Um, the day that Minna was stating all these things, the company went, um, the members and the um, managers came into her apartment and spoke to her. Jimin through kind of a tantrum and uh, said apologize and continuously apologize but it felt like it was forced which I don't think Mina is lying about that because uh, there is proof from other situations and why would she apologize and why would the company allow Jimin to leave if it wasn't true you know like there's just a lot of red flags about the situation and it's just this treatment no one deserves to be bullied no one deserves any of this and if you feel that you are feeling suicidal i will put the hotline down below and a photo of well of hotlines for every uh, country that is possible because it's, it's unfair that anyone would be treated like this. And it's unfair that the company, knowing this was happening, still decided that it was okay for her to be treated like this. No one should be treated like this, no matter the situation. Sorry, fast forward on the contour blush. It's just like I'm ahead to I was sitting a little too long talking and doing my eyeshadow and foundation. It always happens. It, it's always a thing, but we know that. Um, what hurts the most is the fact that um, Jimin goes ahead and puts on her story fiction. So she puts is that, and it just makes it seem that she's trying to continuously say and poke fun not even poke fun, but say that what Minna is saying isn't true. And this just adds fuel to the fire because a lot of people obviously want to see the whole story, want to see if Minna is saying the truth, which it's proven that she is because of the actions of both Jimin and the company and previous things that have happened and when you're going through like bullying and the there's something called the bystander effect where 
you see something but you don't act because you feel that everyone else is going to act and they also might have been afraid of her as well um i don't know the situation i'm not part of the group i cannot say what must be happening but by what i see a lot of this could have been avoided if the company would have acted on it um you can also say, oh, what about the members? Um, the members could have said something as well. They probably have said something, but if the company doesn't act upon what's going on, then who... Oh my god, I thought the batteries died. <laughs> who can you trust? Because at the end of the day, your company is who represents you. Your company is who you choose to protect you in any shape or form. If the company itself isn't protecting you or helping you, who can you trust? Your members are the ones who are attacking you. One of the members are the one that's attacking you. You go to the company and the company doesn't do anything. You're stuck in the cycle of, it's probably my fault, it's probably me. Um, I'm just gonna leave this off, it's, it's probably dying. Um, but yeah, a lot of this comes to the point where you feel there's no way out. And obviously, when you feel that way, your only way out that you feel is there is... Um, all these things. And I'm glad she spoke out about it, but it took her this long to get the help she needed and that's what's the most frustrating it took 10 years of this torture for something to be done and it's when she speaks about it and the fans are upset that's when something is done and that's why i don't feel like aoa's future will be bright because there's already someone being labeled as a bully righteously so but there's no, like, and she will never get clapped back from this. She's already completely gone of the music industry. There's no one who will help her after this. And rightfully so, as she already shown by her actions that she's not going to change. She already claimed it was fiction. She apologized. But in anger in because they're telling her to apologize and it's messed up that this is the only way that change would happen minna doesn't have the money to go to a lawyer to do something about it all she wanted was an apology all she wanted was an apology to move on and this is how you serve her like at the end of the day, I don't know what was the goal of this company. To keep quiet? Is that all they were going to do? Is keep quiet for so long? Of course, there's way more information that has been said and stated, but obviously I'm here more just giving my input about everything. Um, I don't want to say or be the person who says, oh, I never liked um, Jimin in the first place because it's not about me or my opinion it's about how Minna is feeling how the situation in hand was taken care of and how long it took them to at least say something you know or at least have like give her something of help or give her clarity or give her just closure of the whole situation and I don't even know if it was just Minna who was being treated like this. Because it Choa left. Choa left. She didn't explain her part. And a uh, member that was from the, uh, I think it was a subunit. Because um, AOA had like a white versus black concept in the beginning where they had a drummer group type thing and the black version i think 
had a drummer, but she obviously um, it hasn't been happening for a while now. So um, she did post something, some lyrics of a certain song. So and the timing of it felt like she was saying something about it, but we don't know because she didn't obviously say, "Oh, this is because of this." So. We can only uh, assume that she meant it upon that situation. Excuse that interruption. Oh, jeez. I moved the, the camera to the So I kind of went out of focus there because I completely forgot what I was talking about. But um, back to the uh, German girl. <laughs> yeah, so we can only assume what she wanted to mean by that and by everything that we've seen already uh how the situation goes at hand i just hope that fnc in the future if they do have another band that they do take care of their idols better and that um other companies can see this and um change the way they act about mental health um and i also hope that minute gets better she is um doing treatment and hopefully they can move on past this and she's able to continue her uh acting career her acting agency said that they're going to help her with her treatment and i'm just really proud of her acting agency who is finally stepping forward and helping her with what she's been through and i also hope that um jimin and the other members uh find peace in their own ways i honestly don't want to hate on jimin for this um and i hope you guys don't too i just hope everything will end up okay for all of them and hopefully um aoa can continue to do what they wish but of course like i said we don't know the future of aoa and how it's looking right now it doesn't seem so bright, but I hope each and every member can continue their um, career the way they wish. And yeah, that's basically it. Someone's about to die. So, this is the final look. Um, I tried applying eyelashes. I don't know if it worked, but I don't know. I recently brought clear eyelash glue, so... How they look like crap. <laughs> Um, but this is my lipstick. I got glitter on it and that wasn't fun. Um, this is my eyeshadow too. I really like the glitter. It helped. Um, I was trying to aim for like the Jenna Jenny look um, from Blackpink, their latest comeback. It's still like red, but it ended up looking like this, which I'm not mad about. I also used this palette, which I brought it years ago and I haven't used it ever since. So let's be proud of myself for using this I already know what eyeshadows I use okay, there. anyways um, I hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it um, as always yes there was a lot of serious topics but hopefully I could like bring some humor in it I, I don't want to offend anybody but um, I'm really bad with uh, serious things and I end up laughing so um, I'm sorry about that um, but yeah I wanted this it was a heavy topic, but um, I hope you guys appreciate what I had to offer on this topic. Um, I I don't know. Um, but yeah, so if you've enjoyed this video, I hope I see you in the next one. And um, I'll be so much. And today is going to be a double upload because um, I forgot to upload on Wednesday. But it's okay. <laughs> um, love you so much. See you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like this video if you like this video. If you don't like this video, like it anyways. The fuck? <laughs> anyways, bye.